Hey guys, we're here today on this Sunday to do Nightwish. We do it every three weeks and today is the day that we're due for some Nightwish. Yeah. Now, let me lay out the groundwork for this. So today we're going to be doing for the first time ever on our channel, an official Nightwish video. It's a Never happened big before. Big moment in our history. Big moment. And then we're doing the first ever Nightwish song slash video with Annette Olsen. Because we thought, I thought, that maybe we wouldn't do any videos with her in it because I like the live performances. Yeah. I, I really like Nightwish Live, let's face it. But uh, after doing The Dark Element, The Ghost and the Reaper, I was like, a okay, badass song. Badass song, badass vocals. I was like, okay, we, we got to check out. I mean, we cannot erase her from Nightwish's history, so we got to check out something with her in it. And I thought... Let's check out a music video. We've never done a music video, so let's check out a music video. And why not Bye Bye Beautiful? Because to me, this, I believe, was from the album that followed the departure of Tarja from the band. So to me, it kind of feels almost like a little hidden message yeah. to her, you know, that she left the band. It kind of feels that way. I don't know if that was the intent or not, but it does feel that way. And I thought, okay, let's tr do this. Let's check out Annette Olsen on Nightwish. Music video. We've never done any of this stuff. You know. Why yeah. not? Why not? You know, I really enjoyed her vocals in that in that song in that yeah. band. Because I was like, video. should we do should we do a Nightwish video from her? Come on, like the, the two biggest one are the lead singer now and the first ever lead singer. So come on, like yeah, but you can't you, you can't, can't, can't you can't really erase, erase the can't erase a piece from, of history, um, right? So I, I think we have to check it out. And like I said, we've never checked out the music video, so let's incorporate those two things and let's do this. Yeah. Bye bye, beautiful. All right, let's do this.
Mic drop. Dude, oh, this has just moved ahead of a lot of other Nightwish songs. It's yeah. one of my favorite Nightwish songs. Oh, wow. That guy's vocals, the bass player's vocals. Marco. Marco's vocals in this song. Absolutely badass. And this song is freaking heavy. And the yeah. chorus, like not at the beginning, in the beginning is more melodic, but during the chorus when he's singing, it's a freaking heavy song, yeah. really heavy song. No, it, it almost doesn't even feel like your regular run-of-the-mill Nightwish song. Like yeah, it, it's usually Nightwish songs are like I'm, I'm more like symphonic in nature, if you will. Like yeah. they're more theatrical. This is a freaking badass. First of all, when the video started, I was like, Night. It's it's all chicks. Yeah. I was like, what is this? A scene from Coyote Ugly? You probably never watched that movie, but it's about girls that work a bar, they're bartenders, and then they jump on top of the bar and they dance to songs. It's, it's kind of like, they don't strip, oh. they just dance. You, you thought they were stripping. No, it's not a porno. It's an actual Hollywood movie called Coyote Ugly. Uh, so I was like, wow, is this a scene from Coyote Ugly? Like, what the hell are all these chicks? Then, when it's getting into the chorus, you start seeing the image of the girl kind of fading away and the regular yeah. band kind of fitting in and whatever. And I was like, wow, that's... That's kind of cool. I, I really dig that that whole thing. Yeah. And and the girls were really good looking. My God, if that was Nightwish, all of those girls. Favorite band. I, I think they could charge a lot more money for the tickets. That's what I think. I, I'll be buying front row seats every single show that they would come to town. I'm getting old. Yeah. <laughs> and this video is getting creepy. Anyways, so. That's what I thought, Coyote Ugly, that thing, the video. I enjoyed the video from that perspective. But the song, so when nice. that chorus kicks in, so freaking heavy. His voice is absolutely incredible, yeah. incredible in this song. And then Ed Olsen's voice really fits this song really well. And, and by the this way... This is really different from other Night, uh, Nightwish songs just because, like, usually um, the lead singer has more uh, kind of... A part. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I feel like uh, Marco had more, more. He had a huge role. Yeah. And, but you know what? But no. Okay. Let's let's put it from. Let's look at the song from this angle and tell me what do you think. This song, if it was a, a rap song, this would be a diss track. It, it if you pay attention to the lyrics, you know. Did you pay attention? Like he's saying, did you pay attention to the songs we were singing? To the yeah. to, did you read the letter I wrote you or whatever? Did you hear the words I said to you? It it totally felt like a diss track. To, her, to, to the previous singer, right, Tataria. It, it totally felt that way to me. So if you look from that perspective, it only makes sense that the chorus will be sung by him because Annette Olsen was not in the band before. Yeah. So how can she say those things in the chorus when she was not in the band? Those lines of the chorus can only be said by someone that perhaps actually had those conversations, actually had those experiences, and was in the band before. So if you look at this song as a diss track, as them kind of airing their dirty laundry, if you will. Because I don't, obviously we didn't listen to the band back then. I don't know what the no. history, I don't know what the fallout was after she left the band. I don't know if words were said back and forth between them. I, I don't know. But basing it only on this song, it only makes sense. If you take this song as a diss track, it only makes sense that he sings that chorus. Annette Olsen cannot sing that chorus. She wasn't in the band. She doesn't have that history. It doesn't make any sense. When he sure. sings it, it, it makes sense because he was in the band. Maybe he had those conversations. Maybe that happened. So it makes sense that it's coming from him. Plus, with the way he delivers the lyrics in that chorus, it doesn't feel like he's singing about something, you know, like trivial. To me, his vocal delivery in that chorus felt personal. It felt like I'm freaking pissed and I'm going to let you know how pissed I am in this song. And I'm going to give it to you and I'm going to say exactly what I haven't had a chance to say to your face. I'm going to say it right now in this song. It, it, to me, the delivery of his vocals in that song felt that way. Yeah. It felt that meant more than just words. It, there was a little bit of extra meaning in there. Don't you agree? Yeah. But what do you think of my overall look into it. You I mean, agree with me or you think... I mean, every time we kind of do a song uh, and you put your analysis in it, it always comes up right. Makes sense, right? Yeah, and I mean, half of the time you do this, the band puts in the comments, you're the only one that yeah, gets it. Yeah, I, I don't think Nightwish is going to come on our video no. and comment and say something. But, I mean, we're, we're, 
we're way below their radar. I mean, we're not even on their on their radar at all. We're not even a blimp. We're, we don't exist. We're nobodies. Yeah. We're nothing. But that's my take. That's my personal take. After listening to the song, after seeing the video, um, after seeing the way he delivered his voice, man, it blew me away. This guy, every time I hear him, remember we did that Delane song where yeah. he's, every time he sings, oh, and we did Taro, he was in it. His voice blows me away on how good it I mean, is. When we first, how good it when is. When we first like listened to Nightwish, we didn't like her vocals. Then the second time, we that liked was her floor. vocals. That was the first video was before. Yeah, we liked her vocals, but I, I wasn't so sure about his vocals, right? Now we're going, we're going along, and I'm like, holy crap, his vocals are so good. So good, so good, because he has a, a, a different tone to his voice, and when he sings, it never feels. That it's mundane. It doesn't feel like he's just. It doesn't feel like it's, he's just going through the motions and he's singing. Every time he sings, it always feels like it's coming from a deep place within him. That he feels exactly each single word that he's singing about. That it has some deeper meaning to him, yeah. and that comes across in his delivery. And, and I love it. I, I just, this song without him in the chorus would be a disaster. His voice in the chorus and that'd be a terrible way to start off uh, Nightwish with Annette Olsen for him not to be in the chorus and, and of this song, yeah. Of this song, he because she gave that nice, beautiful melody throughout the song, oh, very oh. beautiful, yeah, very beautiful. And then when the chorus got heavy because the song got heavy in the chorus, you add his vocals, which is a it adds a different tone, it, it makes yeah. the song more somber, more heavy, more hard, more, more angry. If you will, I think angry is a good word, more angry. And because once you then you relate the lyrics to the history of the band and the fact that obviously he's been in the band from the beginning, it has so much more to it. I, mm. This song, I have a huge list of favorite Nightwish songs. This song was not even on my radar. This song is quickly creeped up into my top five favorite Nightwish songs. I just loved it. It but, was so good. But we have to listen so, to another song uh, with the Nat Olsen in it because in this song she barely kind of sang. We need to listen to a song where she has more of a main role. Yeah. All right. Yes, we'll do that. Because we know how good his vocals are. This song just told us, hey, it's even better than, than what, what we think. thought. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. We have to do another video, but that's why there's the comment section because people right now in the comment section, as they're watching this, they're typing, you have to watch this video. Here's a link. Why the hell did you watch this video? You could watch this video. Like, well, give us the, it, it won't be the next night wish video. It will not be with Annette Olsen because we'll try to change things around. We haven't done one with Taria you in, know, a, in, a, in a long time. So that probably is going to be the next one, but give us in the link, the next video, if we were to check another video, with Annette Olsen in it, from that era of Nightwish, what video should it be? Let us know in the comment section below. And that is where we will be going for our mm -hmm. uh, for our guidance into this metal journey of ours. All right, guys, this is it for this Sunday. By the way, tomorrow we're back home. We're back in Toronto tomorrow, so there won't be any more videos from, from this background here. We're saying goodbye to this room. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll be back in Toronto doing some videos in our old kitchen packed with our, our, our uh, pop finals. All right, and see you guys. Maple syrup. And apples. And maple syrup. Oh yeah, I thought you said apple syrup. I was no. like, apple syrup? No, maple syrup. Maple syrup, we're Canadian. We'll put maple syrup on everything. Just like uh, Frank's hot sauce. Yeah, we put that yeah. shit on everything. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, they should pay us some royalties for that. All right, guys, see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. See ya.